Hey, my Periscope people. Uh, I've got no idea what time my train is coming. Um, those of you who are Londoners, you know that I'm probably in, um, look at that, I'm in a waiting room, which is all good. Um, hello, Ayazinam Wolf, whatever. Um, what's up, what's up, what's up? So here I am, I'm at Finchley Road train station, just waiting for my train at seven minutes to, uh, it's a seven minute journey to, hello Sean, it's a seven minute journey to getting to Wembley Park train station. I have no idea what my tra time my train is coming, that's irrelevant. Um, hello Izzy, hey Sean. And really, it's a real, real quick one because I don't know what time this train's coming. I've, how many times have I said that now? What time is my train coming? Um, probably miss one or two trains because I want to talk about this. Now, when someone has an issue or a problem or whatever, usually they focus right on that problem, okay? But what we tend to forget is that our life is made up of different parts, okay? For example, we have work, we have relationships, we have our health, we have um, activities, whatever, hobbies, all kinds of stuff. So we've got some train, trainage going on here, excuse the noise, okay? Congratulations on passing your driving test today. That's a big one, well done, well done. Now what I'm saying, really, is how we have to remember that although there may be a challenge in one area of our life, there's other areas as well that we could focus on. So let's say we're having a really challenging time in our job and in our career. What we could pay attention to is maybe our health. Maybe we could look at what, what's happening with our diet or how much movement and exercise we're bringing into our life. And the reason for that is because whichever area of life that we focus on and we improve, it will have a positive effect on the other areas of our life. And that's something that we really forget a lot, all right? So, how can I put this, or how can I summarize this in, in, in some kind of way? Um, I think if we're trying to change something in our situation, don't just isolate that one area. So I work with people a lot in helping them to improve their creative life. Um, but very often what that means is we have to have a little bit of conversation and discussion about another part of their life. Um, you know, maybe their social life is lacking and they're not associating with um, the right types of people enough, which is therefore having a negative effect on their creative life. And there's so many different ways that you could, that you could look at that. So think of your life. Okay. Yeah, thanks for sharing that, Izzy. Look at your life and just split it up into, let's say, five or six different areas and think about which of those areas of your life are successful or you're doing well in and which areas you're lacking in. And maybe the areas that you're lacking in, work on those, try to improve those. But also pay attention to the areas where you're doing well or maybe the areas of your life where it's easiest to improve. So for example, for me, the easiest area for me to improve is with anything that's to do with activity because I, I love sport, I love movement, I love running, I love yoga, all that kind of stuff. And when I am feeling more energized, um, I'm able to approach my work, I'm able to approach my, my business in a positive way. I don't know where video games comes into this, Izzy. Um, maybe you need to think about um, spending less time on video games. Yeah, maybe that's a little bit harsh. Hello, King Hypes. Anyway, that was my quick one. The train will be coming soon. And... Um, Thank you for the hearts. I really appreciate the hearts. Um, where are you from, Izzy? King Hypes? Yo, 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 yo. Um, so yeah, you'll have to watch the replay, folks, if you didn't catch that. Segment your life. Coventry, oh, nice, nice. I've been up there a couple of times. I'm very well, thanks. Segment your life. Look at the different areas. So what's happening with our relationships, what's happening with family, what's happening in our professional life, what's happening with our hobbies and activities, and let's work on those individually and realize that there's a knock-on effect as we, as we um, have a positive impact on each of those areas. All right, I'm going to be out of here now, off of this Periscope, and thank you very much for watching. See you.